Alright guys, I'm going to do some more tickets. My fancy little let's play of this mod that leaves me confused at the end of every episode. And weird noises are everywhere. But um, since the last episode, I've been doing a bit of Search of the Re on the Swift Gale. Swift Wolf Swift Wolf Rendering Gale. I don't know, the Swift Gale I will call it. Um, out of convenience. But um, this thing is apparently very buggy in single player and I'm having a fairly easy time. Um, understanding that that's the truth, but, um, there was not a myth or something, but what the fuck it actually works. Um, so yeah, apparently in single player, this thing is glitched to the shit house and will only work if there is coal in your inventory. Now, apparently it doesn't actually require fuel in the multiplayer variant, but in single player, it does. So, I'm not sure if I actually like this thing anymore. Um, but I'm not sure if these other rings are actually craftable. I'm pretty sure they're just the different modes. Obviously, the blue mode that we just saw there was the fly mode. The red mode, no idea what the hell this does. But um, this, this tornado shit apparently just pushes mobs back. Um, but for some reason, it wasn't working on the, on the cow. So, it may only be the hostile mobs. Um, but for now, we're going to put this thing away because I don't like it. Um, <laughs> it's probably good in multiplayer, but for now, I don't think I like it at all. Um, but it was also a very good suggestion. Um, I just, you know, you'd think that if it was bugged in any stage of the game, it would be from, from the multiplayer version, um, and as opposed to the single player, because it always, I don't know, it, it just seems weird to me that, what the f Fuck. Alright, I'm going to stop looking at rings. They're just too tempting. Um, what was I even saying? It just seems that all the bugs and stuff are generally multiplayer exclusive. But, um, yeah, for once... Why is my coal always in the top of the genera... Wait, it's because it's shift-click. I don't know. It's probably where it defaults to on a shift-click. But, anyway, um, what we were doing last episode before I was rudely interrupted by confusion and curiosity is actually pack up a house and looking to move out in search of that in the dat independence dat in the fucking bed move thank you um gotta get the tunes growing um imagine just like being at a fucking at a red light just blaring this shit out of your subs my god so many bitches would just line up anyway um so yeah that's what we're gonna get done this episode is actually hopefully move trying to find somewhere new, but as I was doing last episode, I was condensing my, my, not my everything, but all my different shit to a point that I can move out without having a, a lot left over at the base here, but we still have some macerating left over to do, not actually, not a lot less than I actually anticipated, but at the same time, we need to get that stuff done before we actually can move, but um, the majority of it is done, which is actually fairly nice to know, um, but... I don't know where all my gold dust went, but anyway, um, but yeah, we can come back here at any time, don't know why that isn't macerating, that's because my jetpack's in the generator, anyway, so, there we go, that's the beauty, um, but yeah, so this episode will be moving house, and um, what I did want to do actually was create more dark matter before we left off, um, and the reason behind that is because I realized I could have done something a little more efficiently last episode when I created the dark matter. And, um, that was a, to actually keep one in the event that I want to create more and just actually chuck it in the condenser. Um, which was, would have been the smart thing to do, but obviously, evidently, I didn't do it. So, we're going to have to go re rectify our actions now. Um, and to create some dark matter now. But, obviously, we're going to need a lot more fuel than I have now, so... That's kind of sucky, um, but it looks like we should have enough now. No, we won't. My God, I'm so bad at this moment. <laughs> but anyway, a lot of you guys seem a lot of you guys seem to enjoy this series, which is really refreshing, and um, gives me gives me a reason to upload it. So, for that reason, um, I'll ask you guys to leave the ongoing feedback and suggestions for future episodes in in the comments section and all that good stuff but I'll we'll move on to that blabberiness another day um but last oh my god why did I f <laughs> oh I'm a fucking spud um so looks like I left over some 
of this fuel in the in the condenser, which is actually kind of convenient now that I think about it. But we need to create four more of this stuff, um, so we can actually make our dark matter. So what I might do actually is keep one extra, because I'm pretty sure this stuff isn't exclusive to dark matter. So we will keep that there. Um, but what we'd have to do before we create this dark matter is obviously create this diamond block. Pretty key ingredient in the recipe. Um, but dark matter does have a fairly fucking high EMC value, and that's why we're gonna get stuck into some into the future, hopefully get stuck into some solar panels and all sorts of power generating techniques. But um, I'm kinda disappointed about this ring. Um, it is very cool and stuff, but at the same time it shouldn't be using fuel, so I probably will use it uh, every now and again, but I just don't like the fact that... Actually, I want to test if it gives me falling damage protection. Oh my god, I actually like this ring now. Oh. Okay, that's actually epic. I had no idea that did that. So, at least we can use it as feather falling whenever we hold it. I presume that's what was providing... What? What is this witchcraft? Right, we're going to drop that. This is... Okay, so apparently I'll we'll do a bit a bit more testing on that, actually. We've got this ring in our inventory. We've pretty much got feather falling, but this this does have a double edge to it. Um, if you fly over the lava with this thing, for some fucking god knows what reason, it will actually drag you into the lava and kill your ability to fly. So just a little heads up if you're looking to use this thing. Um, don't fly over lava, because you're not going to have a good time. Um, I'm not sure how far the range is on the thing, but I don't really want to try it out to find out, because this thing is expensive as shit to make, and I don't want to risk losing it. So, we've got our dark matter here. Um, so that's some, one of the things we will be taking with us. But I guess we can convert this chest piece into some diamonds, because um, obviously I don't need the chest piece when I have a jet pack, because that thing fucking rules. Um, but yeah, I think we're pretty much ready to get going. I probably won't need my divining rod considering I'll be taking covalence dust with me and if I ever do need um, a divining rod it's not exactly the most expensive thing to craft so we can just settle with that. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to prioritize the best things that I have when we go. Um, hopefully we can, get, we can actually leave this episode but last episode I was actually very confused about the whole bronze copper difference um, but yeah what we're going to have to do is create some more tin dust before we do anything and create a wrench, pick up all my goodies here, and then we can move on from there. But evidently, we don't. I say that word so much. Um, what the? Why did that? Did that force a block update? That is really strange. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have to create some more tin dust out of the Mesa Reader. <laughs> don't know what accent that was meant to be, but um, it was pretty bad. So once we get a bit of tin dust, we can create some. Br what? 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 That was really buggy. But, um, I guess what I'll be doing, we'll just ditch the whole tin dust conversation, um, is using this ring as feather falling on my hotbar and my jetpack to actually fly with. Um, even though the jetpack does pretty much use fuel, um, it doesn't take it directly out of my inventory, but if I do have, like, a shit ton of redstone in my inventory, I guess I could use the ring in those occasions, but as you can see, it just drains it. If we look at our redstone down the bottom left-hand corner, you will see that it actually drains it. It actually... That's your cue to drain it! Oh my god. So yeah, it drains it, believe it or not, which is kind of annoying, but it gives me feather falling. Well, not feather falling, just gives me node falling damage, which is amazing. So my rant about that thing not letting me fly is pretty much null, because that ability is just as good. Um, but yeah, I really want to make this freaking wrench so I can actually pick up all my stuff without fear of losing it to a machine block. Um, but I'm not sure if we can create bronze with a majority of copper dust. Um, um, to the, under the impression that we actually will need a lot of copper. What? What? Okay, so that actually works out to my favor. Um, I was under the impression that I needed a lot of tin, rather, but looks like we only need um, copper, So which actually works in our favor, which I didn't anticipate, because nothing works out in my favor in this mod. But anyway, guys, I'll go over snooze, wait for this stuff to smelt, and I'll join you guys in the morning. 
Alright, so we've got our copper ore now, and we can actually make this freaking wrench, and then get, move on, and actually look for a new place to live. Why did that not make a wrench? Game, riddle me that. Right, I'm pretty sure that is the recipe for a wrench. If not, it should be. Um, but I'm very confused to why that didn't work. Bronze. In a... You're fucking kidding me. Did I seriously just create copper bars? What? What? What have I done? Bron... Oh, for fuck's sake. Ah... Uh... So much retardation <laughs> involved in this series, I apologize. But, ooh, I, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like how fun that is. Anyway, so whilst that bronze um, cooks, we can just... What? Who wants to build that? That's ugly. Ugly. I guess I can take this chance for you guys to help me out with this series. As always, if you have anything you, you're keeping to yourself, you greaty bastards... Any epic recipes or anything you guys want to let me know on, um, please chuck it in a comment. I know I ask this a lot, but uh, yeah, I need to emphasize the point that uh, it'll make the series a lot more entertaining if I have entertaining stuff to build. But um, looks like we're in our last bronze ore to create, bronze ingot rather to create. So we can now make our wrench, pick up our shit, and fly away. That is the goal. What? Oh right, <laughs> that's well. <laughs> That, that's, yeah, that's, that's very bad. Um, but what? Oh, no, you're fucking joking. Why does that make a minecart? I'll never know, but, uh, anyway. Attempt number five or something. A wrench. Amazing. But apparently if we put covalence dust, I guess that just recharges it. I have no idea. Uh, I'm going to assume that that wrench by default will do the job that we need it to do. And we can pick up our stuff without it breaking. Why is this taking... If, if this breaks, when I pick this up, I'm just going to throw something. Alright, so that was lucky. It was, probably isn't lucky. It's probably common knowledge that the the drill doesn't delete the, the condenser. But um, we will need to pick up our macerator and stuff. I probably can't be asked waiting for all this shit to macerate, if I'm totally honest. But we do need to get a move on, guys. I feel like I've been here for way too long. Don't know if that floppy disk does anything. Um, if you guys, actually, if you know what that floppy disk does, please tell me and I'm, we'll come back and get it if it's good. Um, but to my knowledge, that thing's pretty much useless as tits on a bull. Um, let's chuck on the on the epic tunes again. Um, I like how that's the only record I've actually managed to find. Um, but yeah, I think we've pretty much found and crammed as much of this stuff as we would need into, into my inventory. And I think it's time to go, guys. We're actually going to move out. I never thought this day would come. Um, but I guess we better bring some coal with us. Um, uh, want to make sure I'm not bringing crap with me, like seven blocks of copper. Who the hell wants that? Um, and just prioritizing the, the biggest EMC stuff. Um, but obviously coal isn't the most valuable thing in the world, so I don't want to bring... Why did I turn that off? Anyway, that thing... I'll bring that thing with us, because that is precious to me. That... I hold that dearly close to my heart. Um, but yeah, I think... I think we're done here. It's been a nice... It's been a nice experience living in this house. Um, but I'm just going to fight back the tears and persevere. We're going to turn these pickaxes actually back into diamonds before we leave though. Because that is a lot of inventory space that I would be... Fuck off. That's not what I want. Um, a lot of potential inventory space wasting. Um, keeping these things with us. But um, we will actually use this EMC because I feel like if I don't it will just soak up somewhere else. And I don't know if that's what I want. Um, but we're going to try and create a little bit of... Okay, that worked out. Um, I was I was afraid that it was going to use it all quickly and I wouldn't have the opportunity. But it... Anyway, so I don't know if that made a whole lot of sense. But we're going to move out, guys. It's it's time. This is my moment. Now we're going into Rebecca Black. But yeah, guys, we've, we've, we've had our ups and our downs. Um, mostly downs. But um, it's been fun. So what we're going to do, guys is venture on out into the into the wilderness and I'm um, probably gonna have to keep this ring in my inventory otherwise I will kill myself so anyways uh, this is goodbye for the epic house uh, epic house one more time and um, yeah it's, this is a bit surreal guys but we're actually gonna use this ring because I feel like it's a little bit quicker even though it isn't as atmospheric with the whole bobbly up and down with the jetpack but oh it's like I don't know 
that stream of water is pretty much what my eyeballs look like right now. Just tears everywhere. It, is, it actually doesn't look like a too bad a space, but for the sake of the series, we're going to move on out and find somewhere a bit flatter and a bit less windy because it is so fucking annoying having a constant blah, 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 blah in your ear. It doesn't sound like that, but that's what I hear when I, when I hear the wind. Um, but obviously, I don't want to be building in the plains, um, which is a bit contradictory to what I just requested. Um, let's have our chainsaw just gently humming away. Um, I forgot the macerator, didn't I? Fuck my life. Anyway, sacrifices were needed to be made, but um, what I want to do is try and find a forest biome that is a little bit sexy and a little bit scenic, um, but obviously this that's like a small as forest biome, so hopefully over here we can find something of deliciousness, because forest biomes are pretty much my favorite biome, um, apart from jungles, and obviously we can't make a jungle let's play, because I mean... That'd be it'd be stupid. It'd be twofold. Two let's plays that look identical. Um, but yeah, that forest just doesn't cut the mustard. If I am to be okay, we're gonna test out. Oh god, do I really want to fly over this lava? I'm dancing with the devil right now. I don't know. I <laughs> I have like no. I can't risk that. Um, I'm not exactly dropping hundreds of this shit. I'm not exactly a Minecraft millionaire. And if you look up in the top right at the minimap, that little... Wait, this way, this way, this thing over here. i got to check this out. If you look at that, I, that looks a little bit like a watch. Like the Minecraft watch, not going to lie. But um, speaking of watches... Oh no, I thought it was going to just block updating. Anyway, we're going to move onwards. I'm piss farting around. But yeah, we need to find somewhere decent to set up. Um, and I don't want to revert back to my epic house. Um... Because that would just be embarrassing. <laughs> I want to make this move and it's going to be good. That is a strangely shaped basin, whatever you want to call it. But obviously snow biomes are depressing and shit, so I don't want to be rocking in one of these bad boys. Um, I know some of you guys out there may prefer the ice and this snowiness, but my personal opinion is that it sucks a lot of fat wang. So for that reason, we're not going to settle up here. Um, this app wall... I sense rape. Wolf rape. Anyway. Anyway. So, moving on. I said anyway twice. Um, but yeah, I want to find a nice little forest biome with a bit of flat land that I can work on. Um, obviously, it's going to be a, have to be a little bit bigger than what I'm seeing right now. Because if it's too small, it's, fucking, it's not going to work um, at all. Um, I'd like to big build. I'd like to big build. I'd like to build bigly. Um, as I've discussed before, I w I'm wanting to set up a main build as well as a shed in which I can chuck all my machines in. So that's why I wanted to get the flatland, and the forest is pretty much my favorite flatland biome at least. But um, I'm liking the look of this. Um, if my if my computer wasn't so shit and um, and all that, this terrain would probably generate a little bit faster. But I'm liking the look of this thing. Although that swamp, that nope. What is this? That's not swamp at all. I like this place, guys. Not going to lie. This beach is fucking sexy. Blur to you, too. Um, but, yeah, I like the look. I like this place. I, I really do. So, this this looks like our new place. And it's not actually too far away from our epic house. Um, it's nice and flat. Um, but, yeah, I think we're going to move in here, guys. But I guess the question begs, where are we going to set up our primary base? Um, but I'm thinking... I'm thinking in this little lake here. Oh wow. Oh wow, this thing's amazing. This is the best thing ever. <laughs> Just a single block in the air, why not? Um, but yeah, I like to look at this area, guys, and this is probably where we're going to set up. So, I'm going to check how long this video has been going for, guys, because I don't want to keep the episode too long. I know a lot of you guys don't have time to watch a full 30 minute video every time I upload, but I will check the, the length and I'll be right back. And providing we have a bit of time, we'll get stuck into the new setup. But if not, I may have to call the episode quits from now, but I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I didn't check how long this episode is, and it's at about the 19 minute mark, which is really... Whoa, this is fucking cool. That's, yeah, it's really strange when the time just fucking flies. No pun intended, the time just flies by. Um, anyway, that was fucking creepy, I'm never doing that again. But, yeah, this is where we're going to set up, and I'm not sure if I want to end the... Oh, this is fucking cool. Blah, blah, blah. This is fucking cool. 
Um, I like this ravine, but we will not check it out just yet. That is fucking cool. I like this place already. Why is that lava no bright? Update. 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 There you go. Um, but yeah, I'll probably keep this episode going for a couple more minutes, guys. But I am very in need of ending it. But before we do end up the episode, I will be placing some torches around the place. Um, and hopefully picking out a place to build. And um, actually, what I will do, actually... Before in the end of the episode is completely reverse what I just said. Um, what I will plan on doing, I do like the looks of this lake, so what I'm going to be doing is making a build in this lake. And um, next episode is what we'll be, that's what we will be doing. We'll be focusing on rebuilding a house. Um, the goal is to have a few bridges reaching into the center of this lake and then an Oreo tower of awesomeness going up from there. But, um, yeah, so hopefully that will look good uh, when we get stuck into it. So next episode is probably not going to have a whole lot of tech-related content. Um, I mean, I can fly around, so building is going to be a lot easier. It's pretty much like creative mode. You have the luxury of being able to fly up and down. So making this, this tower will be actually really interesting. Um, it, does, it, it feels awesome to have creative mode in a legit gameplay. Um, the flying aspect at least, I can't exactly spawn in blocks um, without looking like a dickhead, so I'm not going to do that. But anyway guys, I might leave you guys now, um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. I apologize if it isn't as long as you'd like it, but 20 minutes, it's, uh, it, it, I, th I feel like that's long enough. Um, but anyway guys, next episode we're going to be building this epic Atarawa. Um Hopefully you can get a bit of progress done, but hopefully you enjoyed this episode, and um, I'll catch you guys later for the next one.